Yes, I have some exciting news, like mind-blowing news. Stay tuned, we might have a pretty exciting episode in the future. It's like little, little teeth that this clicks onto. <laughs> Mind blown. Happy first day of spring. It's the first day of spring, I didn't even know. I woke up and my sister texted me, the first text I read said, happy spring, happy first day of spring. And I thought, wow, I had no idea. Welcome to the Wild West. I am Tracy. I should have said that first, but anyway, I was so excited about the spring news. I just, it came first to mind. So happy spring. By the time this goes up, it'll be like a day or two after spring, but it's first day of spring today. And I thought we need to celebrate. I like to celebrate everything. I went to Trader Joe's, picked up a little spider plant. It's not in the best condition, I noticed, but they only had three. I chose the best out of the three. There's little brown tips. I read up on it. They don't like direct sunlight. That's why they sometimes get crunchy ends. They are very finicky. They said they're like vampires in direct sunlight. So I'm gonna put her, I'll show you where I'm gonna put her with the rest of my little plants. I have a little plant area and I will clip these off, I will name her, and we'll just chat because I have some exciting news, like mind-blowing news. If you're new here, you may not know this, but I'm a big thrifter. I like to thrift so many things. It's my favorite, one of my favorite things to do. So these scissors were at a thrift store and they were in the package still and it said they were for cutting flowers, like arranged flower arrangements. So I thought, oh, I want, I, I have a thing for scissors. So I bought these and I I'm, I'm, guess I'm sterilizing them with the alcohol so I don't give this new little spider plant a disease. And I'm just going to clip off, and they said at an angle, the little brown bits here. And then I'm going to name her. And I decided I will name this plant Sarah because my sister Sarah is the first one that told me it was the first day of spring. That looks much better and I have my label maker which I also thrifted. See that? $3.99 Goodwill. Sarah, and I have these little sticks. And I'm gonna trim it so it's even and I'm gonna put it on my stick. Nice to meet you, Sarah. I'm gonna go, oop, I'm gonna go introduce you to your new family. We will put Sarah right here. I think she looks good right there. She's going to live right underneath the Berkey. Do you want to hear the big news? Yesterday, I went on one of my walks because I've really committed as of, it was March 5th, I believe, March 5th or 6th. When I got back from my trip from Blue Lake, I decided I was going to start walking just two times around the school. And that's one mile, it takes me about 20 minutes. And I've been doing it very, very faithfully. And yesterday I decided to do a little short, a little update on my walk. I really wanted to get to 333 subscribers because I was currently yesterday at 330. So I was just chatting about it and I was noticing on the analytics that most of my viewers, like 75% of them are not subscribers. They're just people that view my videos, but they don't subscribe. So I sort of spoke to those people and I was like, you know, I noticed this. I'd be so happy if some of the non-subscribers would subscribe that watch my videos. And this morning when I woke up, I got 300 55. I got to 355. I totally miss seeing 333. So now I have to look forward to 444. It blew my mind because I will go stagnant and it'll be like a whole week and I might, I might get one subscriber or maybe two or maybe none. But the fact that I got that many in one day, one morning, less than 24 hours, I was like, mind was blown. It was like, <laughs> mind blown. I was like, well, Wow, do all I, do, is that all I have to do is ask? Just say, please subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to reach now 444 and I'd be so glad and so happy if you did. So here I go, I'm sort of asking again, but I'm also still going to go on a walk today and I'm gonna keep people updated on these little short walks I'm doing daily because yesterday what I realized is 
I am feeling better. I'm feeling more energy. I'm feeling more creative. When I got back, I drew a picture in my journal and it just felt good to be outside. And today especially is perfectly, it's like it, the perfect, most perfect spring day I've ever seen. Um, yesterday at this time, thunder clouds had rolled in. There was thunder, a little bit of lightning, and it was really weird because most of the day was sunny like today and then it just came out of nowhere. But today's a beautiful day. I just have to wait for the school bell to ring and all the kids to be let out. And once they let out and all the traffic is cleared, I'm gonna go on my two lap walk and I'm gonna update people on my short and I'm gonna appreciate them and say, thank you for subscribing. I, it blew my mind. I, I don't know if I've ever gotten that many subscribers in one day ever. Now, it's not like I went viral or anything. Right? It's not like I blew up, but hi. I achieved and overachieved the goal that I spoke out loud of 333. So I'm going to walk today and waiting for that traffic to clear. I also want to share with you on the, let's say, how would I say it? My word this year is simplify and I am working really, really hard to do it. We are going to have a yard sale soon and I'm, oh my gosh, it's been so hard because I'm very sentimental, but I'm releasing some things. I should just go show you the pile of stuff I've collected thus far, but it may rain the weekend we have planned to do the yard sale, so we might have to postpone it. I am releasing and letting go of. Let's go see this. Oh my goodness, see here it is. And now if we postpone this, that means all of this junk has to just stay here while I prepare for this yard sale, which I'm very overwhelmed. I couldn't sleep last night, by the way. I, I Thoughts were just going through my mind. What should I get rid of? What should I do? How should I price these things? But this is the big one. I have three typewriters and it's just for looks. It's been on my yellow bookcase for looks and I'm gonna release it because I have two more. Why do I need three? Why? I don't. And here's my little typewriter stand that I painted yellow because I paint everything yellow, it seems and I'm gonna release both of those. That's a big, big deal. We love puzzles, so we have a little pile of puzzles and beads to make bracelets and just little miscellaneous. Not all of this is going, by the way, but this shelf was full of stuff and we're getting rid of the shelf. And I washed rugs to give away and I have some clothes to give away and a really cool backpack. This is the stuff we sort of still have to go through. Some of it might go back up in the rafters but I'm actually gonna release an old, beautiful camera. Let me show you, and it wasn't even mine. It was gifted to me, and I have so many cameras, so I am gonna release this as well. I'll show you. It's a Canon T50, and now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if I can release it. I have another one that's a no-namer. I should actually release that one. Um, my dad gave me his Canon, so I also have another Canon film camera. Actually, I'm not gonna release this. I'll show you the one I'm gonna release. Hold on one second. I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna swap it out. My gosh, I made a decision right then and there showing you that I was changing my mind because I realized I also have this Olympus camera that was also given to me and I'm gonna get rid of this one. Not that Olympus isn't a name, but Canon is a name. I'm gonna keep the Canon and I'm gonna release the Olympus. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a promise right now. I'm gonna load this with real film and I'm gonna shoot a roll of just this and that, whatever, just like the old days, so I can just feel the click. And that's what I'm gonna do. I feel like I just recently, all of a sudden, in this moment, got inspired. So that's what I'm gonna do. It just even feels good in my hands. I'm gonna just keep this kit lens on there. Actually, I don't know if it's a kit lens, but whatever lens this is, I can't read because I don't have my glasses on. Oh, it's a 50 millimeter, which is even more cool. So I'm gonna keep this 50 millimeter lens on and I'm gonna shoot a roll of film and maybe I'll share it with you later here on a future episode, if you will. Are these called episodes? I'm not sure, but this is what I've decided to do. Goodbye, this, hello, this. Ah, yes, okay, two things. They had a roll in this bag of shot film. I'm gonna get it developed and see what's on it. Seems kind of like invading privacy, but they're not here anymore and maybe there's a cool treasure. And that might be fun to see. So I'm gonna get this developed. And then they also had a roll of film in there, a 200, that's good for daylight. It's probably expired, but I don't care because that's kind of fun too to see what happens. Stay tuned, we might have a pretty exciting episode in the future, depending on what comes out of this. 
I am almost thinking there might be film in here because I feel tension. And so, yeah, no more tension. There's film in here, guys. <laughs> so I might get two rolls developed. What do you know? I'm gonna get two rolls developed. I will invest because I'm curious. I'm a curious, curious human. Before I start shooting this, I need to check to see. Oh man, there's old batteries in here. That's never good. But it doesn't look like they're corroded. I'm gonna pop some new, I looks like they just take double A's. I'll pop some double A's in there. I can't believe my whole day just took a, a, a turn of events, if you will, just by showing you what I thought I was gonna release and then realizing, oh, it's a cannon. I don't know if I wanna release the cannon. They're just special to me. I've just always shot a cannon, so I'm sticking with cannon. I always like Nikon because I like the Simon and Garfunkel song about Nikon. Truth is, I've always just shot a cannon. But this is exciting. This is super exciting. I've always loved a 50 millimeter too. I just thought of something. In case you don't know how to load film, and I'm doing this while I am, you know, looking through my camera. This came out in 1983. I had to go back and look because, you know, maybe you just want to know. Maybe it wants me to take it to that line. But there's like little, little teeth that this clicks onto. And then you usually you advance it a couple times. I'm going to go twice and then it's ready to go. This is made for an amateur photographer actually. So it's kind of just like a point and shoot pretty much. So that should be easy and a little bit of a focus. So there's not a lot of settings. I noticed I was like, where's all the settings? That's weird. So this is gonna be easy. This is gonna be a nice intro to getting back into film because it's basically like a point and shoot with it just, you know, focus. My eyes aren't as good these days, but that'll be interesting. I've just really gone off on this whole camera thing. Let's name this camera Herbert. Isn't that cute? So I'm gonna take Herbert out for a little stroll. Maybe I'll take a, maybe I'll even take a first spring picture today of, of my blooming poppies, my California poppies with this, her little Herbert. I'm so excited. My whole day just took a turn and the traffic is cleared. So I'm gonna go on a walk.